So events calendars are one of the most common features that our clients request from us when we're building a website for them. That's why your showroom model comes with an events calendar by default. Here it is. It's a Google Calendar. You've seen these before. You might even have one yourself. Here it is though in the website. You have a month view. You have a weekly view. And then you have a um, chronological view. But as you look around the website, the one thing that you don't see is you don't see an option to add a new event to this calendar. And that's because you don't add events to the website. You add events to the Google Calendar. So we're going to go to calendar.google.com. And here we go. So today's February 4th. Let's go forward to February uh, 12th. This is Friday, and we're going to schedule ourselves a lunchtime seminar, and it'll go from 12 to 1.30. So there's the lunchtime seminar. It's on the 12th from 12 to 1.30, and it will be hosted at the uh, local Civic Club. How nice of them. And we will have lunch and talk about protecting environment. There you go. There it is on the calendar here. Let's go over to the website and click forward. And I don't see it on the calendar here, but if I hit refresh, go back to the week view, go back to the 12, there it is. So I added my appointment to the Google Calendar over here, and it automatically appeared on the website over here. Now another useful option is to make that a repeating appointment. If you have a lunchtime seminar every Friday, you click the repeat button, and then you have a whole bunch of options. You can repeat it weekly or monthly. You can repeat it um, uh, over um, days of the week or months of the year, and you can set a start date or a stop date. And that's how you use your Google Calendar to add events to your events calendar on your website.